Today on this old trailer, we're going to review and install the Kurt Softtrack I Breakaway System. Part number C52040. Here we are at the front of our trailer where we're going to mount our breakaway kit. Here we are with our breakaway kit. This is a super nice kit as it's a nice compact battery and charger and then the actual breakaway switch. One of the really nice features about mounting this battery is it's multiple options. We can secure it directly to the steel using the self-tapping screws or in those limited mounting option places use the supplied U-bolt, flat washer and nut to secure it to our jack. And it's just that simple for mounting the battery and charger. Now for our application, we're just going to mount the battery and charger right behind the previously mounted junction box. Let's so center it up and use the self-tapping screws. Next, we're going to mount the breakaway switch. Here at the back of the switch, it's already got a pre-drilled hole for securing we're going to secure it directly to the steel of the trailer. Keep in mind, you want to make sure that the breakaway switch will not be impeded should it need to be pulled in case of an emergency. To secure it, we're just going to use a self-tapping screw and go right to the tongue of our trailer. Just like that, we've got a nice solid mounting location and it won't be impeded. To wire it up, we're going to go ahead and remove the junction box cover and start our routing. We'll just go ahead and remove the two fasteners here. Hold that junction box cover in place. For routing, we have the three wires that come from the battery and charger. Our black and white wire are going to get routed into the junction box through the open port here. Now to help protect my wiring here as I route it over to the junction box, I'm going to add some of the Spectro quarter inch wire loom. We've got 10 inches here. We're only going to need about six and a half, seven. So I'm going to go ahead and clip off the excess and feed the two wires that come directly from our battery and charger they go into the junction box, into the wire loom, push it on through. Now that the wire loom in place, we're just going to go ahead and leave our wires there for the time being. Here from our switch, we have two wires. Let's go ahead and uncoil them. And in this case, we're not going to need all the excess length. One wire coming from the switch, and it doesn't matter which one, as it's just a closed loop system will get routed and secured to the blue wire coming from the battery and charger. Our second or other blue wire is going to get routed into the junction box and ultimately connect to the trailer's electrical brake circuit. So my first connection here, we're going to go ahead and take the blue wire from the battery and a blue wire from our breakaway switch and cut off the excess length. Now because this butt connector is going to be exposed to the outside elements, I like to use the DECA heat shrink butt connector, part number DW05743-5. We'll go ahead and feed the stripped end of each wire onto the butt connector and crimp it down. Once we have it crimped down, we can go ahead and heat up the heat shrink portion of the butt connector so it seals around the wire. Now, if in a pinch, you can use a lighter or maybe a small butane torch or even possibly a super hot hair dryer to heat up the heat shrink portion. We're going to go ahead and use a heat gun. And just like that, we've got a nice sealed connection. All right, now with that connection made, I'm going to go ahead and use some black electrical tape, not only to cover up that connection point, but it'll help bundle up and clean up the install look of our wiring.
Now with the wiring taped up, let's go ahead and feed it into the junction box. We'll need to loosen the wiring clamp before we can feed it in. To have the wiring fed inside the junction box, we can go ahead and tighten the clamp back down. We'll go ahead and run it to the appropriate terminal. The blue wire goes to the trailer electrical brake circuit. Once I get it to that post, I can cut off the excess and strip it back and add a ring terminal. I'll remove the nut off the junction box post I also have a star washer here we can install the ring terminal and then resecure it with the star washer and nut now our breakaway switch is connected We'll go ahead and repeat the same process for the black wire, which will be power for the charger and battery, and the white wire, which will be ground for the charger and battery. All right, now with our connections made, we'll go ahead and reinstall the junction box cover. And just like that, our breakaway kit is installed and we're ready to hit the road. That'll do it for the review and install of the Kurt Softtrack I trailer breakaway kit with charger, part number C52040 on this old trailer.